Loading the rear end on my F100 requires new spring perch brackets. I can't buy them yet in SA, so in this video I show you how I make my own. Coming right up. <laughs> How's it Oaks? My name is Duff and I welcome you to Rad Rots for Africa. A small one-man shop in the middle of the forest where I realize rusty dreams. So originally the leaf springs were sitting right here. The plan to lower the truck is to put the differential on top of the leaf springs so that the leaf springs will be sitting there. You can see a video about that if you click on this link. So to do this I need to have my spring perch bracket sitting on the bottom of the differential. I considered cutting this one off and moving it but then I thought, you know what, that's a bit messy. So I'm going to make new spring perch brackets that I can weld onto the bottom so that the springs will sit here. First thing I did was to make myself a little hardboard template to pick up the shape here and know exactly how long and how tall my new spring perch bracket must be. So using my template as a guide of the dimensions required I'm now laying it out carefully on a piece of steel six millimeter plate I'm describing it on the steel I want to make it quite accurately and then I've measured for the radius and that is actually the diameter of the side tube and now I can cut it out with a baby grinder I'm going to cut the curved part out with a plasma cutter. Of course, if you don't have one, you can also use a grinder. It just takes a little bit longer. This one is going to serve as my template to make three more, so I'm going to make sure that I grind this one nicely and exactly to the marks. Just testing it for fit, looks good to me. I need four plates like this, so using this one as my master, I'm now going to scribe out three more <coughs> to the exact size. I got my four plates cut out, two for each bracket. Now what you can also do now to make sure they are exactly the same is to clamp them together and then give the light tack weld on either side 
and then grind it as one then we know the two pieces are exactly the same and that will ensure that our bracket is nice and square and parallel Okay, I got my two sets, one for each bracket, the two pieces are exactly the same, so I can carry on with my next step. I measured the width of the original spring perch bracket at 50, call it 57, uh, it's not that critical as long as it's wider than the actual leaf spring. So I'm going to make my new brackets about the same width. The material on the original bracket is about 6 millimeters thick, so I'm going to do the same. I've cut these pieces now from a piece of flat bar, 50 by 6, length the same as my side plates, like so. And now very important that this hole that I'm going to be drilling here must be marked out accurately and nicely in the center because that hole locates the spring and keeps it in the exact position. The diameter of this hole needs to suit the center bolt that holds the leaf spring blades together. Okay, that's what we have so far. Next step would be welding these pieces together. But I'm going to first of all tack weld them together on the actual differential just to make sure that everything fits well and lines up properly. To make my life a little easier, I've just tacked the one plate onto the differential temporarily. So currently the diff is upside down. I clean it up with a grinder just to expose bare metal. I've got this in place. I've made a little spacer to take up the gap inside there. So this is going to go on top. Like that. Then my other plate will go there. And now I'm just going to clamp the whole lot together. Something like that. And I will just fiddle a little bit to make sure everything is nice and lined up and parallel before I tack weld it together. Okay, so all the pieces are nicely clamped up and squared up and flat and together so I can now just tack weld the pieces. Um, in case you're wondering, I know there's not much of a, a, a what shall you call it, a, what do they call it, a groove or whatever for the weld here, yeah? but I will grind it open later. I just want it like this now to make sure I assemble it nicely. Okay, cool, so that will keep it. I can just take my tack weld off. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Now I can go weld it up properly on the bench. All welded up, fully welded on the inside as well. So I'm just going to grind it nicely on the side now. One by brand new custom made spring perch bracket. <laughs> so I'm not going to weld it on yet. I don't exactly know where it needs to sit. I can only find that out when I put the differential back. I think this freaking truck has got it in for me. Oh, excuse that noise, that was some something falling on the roof. Probably from this big tree. It's quite windy out there. But uh, look at this, I've just noticed how worn the holes here in the shock mount is. Now they gone. So I'm going to have to rebuild this as well. Ish. Hey, how does a mouse eat elephant? One tiny bite at a time. Um, I'm waiting for my leaf springs to come back from refurbishment. Then I can install all of this. I can't wait. In the meantime, I'm just going to clean up the differential, give it a coat of paint. Um, yeah, so until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And you can comment. I'm happy to engage in conversation. See you in the next one.